You are listening to the Built to Grow podcast. All right. Welcome back to a special Whiskey Wednesday podcast of the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons, in studio with the troubadour of tenacity, Randy Inkson, on a special Whiskey Wednesday Good day, sir. Episode. We're drinking them neat because the ice maker's off. <laughs> Much like many businesses, mm. everything is shut down. <sighs> That's good stuff. It's the best. Hopefully, you all are doing well and hanging in there. Um, got a great episode today. We're going to talk a little bit about how to leverage automation for your online training programs, which is a little bit of a twist because we're so used to getting people to come in for actual, like we call them starting points, but consultations mm -hmm. in person. Well, with the online stuff, you ain't coming in person. So, <laughs> so let's talk about that a little bit. Um, we got our workshop coming up. Mm -hmm. So on April 23rd and 24th, if you're interested in building this out, you could either just go to pfmarketingsolutions.com slash automation, jump right in there. We got a payment plan there for you to make it easy. I can do weekly payments. You can do a PayPal credit. We want to make it as simple as possible to get these systems done. This is the best time. You're not going to have time like we have now mm -hmm. where you're not like busy with the day-to-day -day stuff. Even though you're doing online training, you still have got a lot of time on your hands. So our thought is leverage it now for the online training, no matter how long this is going to last, but then have it ready for when you open up again. Yeah. The, the, the fitness, mm -hmm. big the big wave is coming. I keep saying it. I, I'm truly... That, that's where my belief system lies and yeah i'll take it man we need all the good positivity we can get right now and i'm i'm on the same wavelength as you is is i think the awareness level of the fitness it, being in the community is such so aware right now it's in their face mm -hmm. the the doctors are talking about it you know the 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 better i guess the fitter somebody is the more immune the better their immune system is but really the most critical cases 19 of the critical like urgent respirator style stuff those those are the like bmis of like 33 yeah. and higher yeah and and those are the ones that are passing away I mean, your it. body's taxed 24 7 mm -hmm. you know what i mean your body's fighting 24 7 just to sustain itself right let's throw something like a virus on top of it and yeah you're yeah. susceptible yeah. for sure so knocks knocks you out so so that's good um that, that's not good but that's good that, <laughs> that, that, that fitness is in the forefront of the mainstream so uh, this episode, I want to talk about, you know, how to leverage the CLA. And when we say CLA, it's automation. Okay. And when we, when we mean automation, it's really communication automation. Yeah. It's really that's... mostly what it is. And we do communication. We use three mediums. Uh, we do t email, of course, text message and voicemail. Voicemail is a very underutilized, but very effective way to, to get the message to your prospects and your clients. And so when we did the transition to, uh, online training we did a we use a, a software that we blasted out all mm -hmm. of our current clients we gave them the instructions on a recording and went right to their voicemail now we leverage that for prospects that new leads that come into your online programs we can send those e voicemails automatically which is really cool yeah it's so powerful and and again back to just delivering the message to where people are that's half the battle. I mean, as, as gym owners, as being in sales in general, we know that it's difficult to sometimes just get that actual person on a phone. Right. You know, when they either, either they see you're calling, they don't know the number that's calling, whatever it may be, that's, that can be a difficult task at times. So, but I'll tell you what, I mean, you drop somebody's, a voicemail on somebody's phone without that phone really ringing, that, what the hell, you know, just have like, uh, I, uh, uh, did I miss I, the call? Yeah. I didn't, you know what I mean? That curiosity instantly, they're going to pick up the phone, they're going to yeah. check the voicemail, and then at least you've gotten that communication into their hands. Yeah, and that's really the key. Yep. Getting, we've, I've always said, I've used this analogy a bunch of times, you can have Michael Jordan, the best basketball player arguably to play, sure. and I still think he is, he's from my era. You You're can have him coming in to, damn to, right to teach a basketball workshop for the kids, but if nobody knows he's coming, nobody's coming. Yeah. And it could be Michael Jordan. It could be the president of the United States. If nobody knows he's going to be there, nobody's going to show up. So you got to get the message out. So we leverage the different mediums because you never know where somebody's going to be checking their phone or their email or their voicemail. Uh, and so let's talk about, you know, particular offers as well as how to get those leads to actually book calls and then show up for the calls because – in the past, most people would run an offer. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's even a lead ad or maybe it's through a funnel. Uh, they get the client information and then maybe an autoresponder might send them an email. And then that's kind of the end of it. Yeah. 
um, what the CLA will do for you is it will continue to nurture until they book an appointment. Correct. Logic base. Yep. And as soon as they do that, that nurture stops and then they move into the reminder sequence for the call. And just just that part, even though that's probably 30 percent of what the CLA can do is going to increase your show rates, going to increase your booking appointments. Uh, Patrick O'Sullivan, uh, mm-hmm. you know, our hundred th- was it one hundred and fifty percent out of R three? Yep. I think he's in Connecticut. He increased his uh, bookings over one hundred and fifty percent just using the automation. Flipping a switch, literally. I mean, these are process. It's a natural process from taking, getting a lead, and wanting that phone call is the next step in the process. Yep. He bolted in just that CLA, and it instantly increased that to one hundred one hundred fifty times or one hundred fifty percent greater. That's huge. And and really, the the takeaway here is this: somebody's got to do the work. Yeah. And do you want to hire an admin, or if you have an admin, do you want to? Hopefully, they're they're going to do the job, or do you want to put a system in place that's going to do the job for you? And with the layoffs that have happened, and now you know even. Even when we become open again, your all your business isn't going to be there. I mean, not a hundred percent of the people are coming back. Let's let's be honest. They've gotten in a routine where they're not working out anymore. It's going to be really difficult to get them just to kind of come <laughs> back in. <laughs> yep. So people are, are cutting expenses, and that includes staff. And a lot of times, it's the front desk or it's the admin. And you know, instead of hiring somebody back, why don't you use the CLA? You pay for it once. And it works forever for you. 24-7, never forgets. It's just a great system. So um, a lot of our clients are using it. Mm -hmm. And growing right now, they're online training. Yes. And that's the cool thing is the appointment still needs to be made. The conversation still has to be made. If it's over the phone or in person, that doesn't matter. The CLA Mm -hmm. will do the job. So, and that's the beauty of it. And, and I've been speaking with our our current users a lot about the success that they're seeing pivoting to online, where the wins are, where the you know losses are, the struggles are, and things like that. Those that are using CLA have almost it's almost like nothing's changed. I mean, yeah. I, I, like I, I talked about David Bender recently. Um, you know, I interviewed him last week in the process because he is converting paid trials and paid virtual memberships right now very well from a a free offer or free um, uh, kind of introductory offer. And then he's converting about 50%. His process and what he's doing is nothing, literally nothing. He didn't edit an email. He didn't create new language. He didn't do anything other than plug the people. Lead source. Exactly. Create a new lead source that continues or puts them right into the same communication that he would be saying to these people if they were coming in and sitting down for a consultation. It's beautiful. It is amazing. And to do that, and then to be able to convert 50% of the people, you, you know, we've talked about this a lot. I, I, I hear from gym owners, and I, we've, we've from the lead generation that we've done in the past, all the way through to the systems and the things that we're helping gym owners with now. Every single time I get on a phone call with a gym owner, it's, if you can get them in, we'll convert them. But nobody talks about what it takes to get somebody into the gym or onto the phone or get them to the per, the, the opportunity yeah. to convert. Lead generation is not th- like that's just a small fraction that's of the, the puzzle. Part of it. Lead generation is not the hardest thing out there. You could do it with free offers and ebooks and trip wires and a million different things. Yeah. But saying what you say to that person after you've got their information is where the value really lies. That is the difference between that person showing up for a call showing up for a consultation, or going somewhere else. And the one thing, I'll say it a hundred times over, the CLA is going to say the right thing to the right person at the right time. And that is invaluable. And never forgets. And exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't have a bad day. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, uh, when its spouse pisses it off, pisses it off, it doesn't uh, you know, change the way it delivers a message. Yeah. No, it's the same thing. To speak to that as well, consistency, hard data, numbers. It's a system. Oh, yeah. Now when there's a weak point, what do you do? You start bottom to top on conversion percentages, and you can refine and tweak and increase. Yeah. One of the coolest things in the reporting system in there is, uh, let's say you've got a seven email sequence, mm-hmm. and you're getting like a 35% open rate, 30% open rate, and 28% open rate, 5% open rate, and then it goes back up to 20%. Well, I'm looking at that email, like what, what, what was it that that subject line said? When did I send that out? How long from the prior email did this one get sent? Why is this one broken? And then you can fix the little weak links along the mm-hmm. way. And 
again, it's a consistency. It is a system. And you can see, you see, you can see the, everything on one page, which is even cooler. Yeah. Um, and by the way, we're doing that here too. So, you know, David Bender, yep. we, we flipped it over into a little bit different language over here. Uh, and we're, we're booking appointments. Like I have my Slack and it's just book, like booked an appointment before the podcast. Sure. Like, yeah. oh, we got another one. And nobody's here. Nobody's calling people. It's it's doing it for us. Mm -hmm. And Zach's going to come in. He's going to make that call tomorrow, and he's going to sell another deal. Yeah. And he sold two today, and he sold two yesterday. And it's just like continues to happen. We turn the leads on. It gets them. Okay, so let's talk about the leads. Let's talk about the offer. Okay, yeah. So we, we hit on this a little bit um, before. I think right now I'm going to go with freemium as the – play okay mm -hmm. and what i mean by freemium is you've seen apps that are free but then there's upsells in the app so the same thing goes for your offer i like david's we switched ours to more of what david's is mm -hmm. where his was a 60 day um free online training but once you dive into what they get for the 60 days it's really very limited it's like one workout a week for 60 days it, uh, with interaction with a coach with a coach because yeah because i mean in my opinion his actual offer is actually good. is large it's just the the coaching aspect so the free you're getting program design you're getting some nutritional console you know mm -hmm. um, advice with the free option right but um and this is in the interview and you know and speaking with him the power is the fact that I've, I've said it in other podcasts our our job hasn't changed you know the marketplace still needs a result uh, a result they need a solution for fitness right so when he gets him on the phone and he starts talking to him about it and he discusses hey you can get this with the free option but i'm a coach and you want personal training so why don't we why don't we look at everyday coaching yep. or or the, his unlimited option and he's converting 50% of the people he's getting on and the that, phone with and that's that's gold so that's the premium of the freemium yep so you give them something for free, and then you give them the opportunity to buy something better. Exactly. And so if they get the free, they still get a nice solution. Yep. But if they want to accelerate what they get, then there's your upsell. So it's your standard, you know, upsell kind of funnel. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really here's my offer, and you you talk about it being free, and it is free. So this isn't a bait and switch thing. It's you get this, but do you want something more? Well, that costs you know one fifty a month, and we can do that for you. Just click here. Right? And and being a Jeep, or excuse me, and being a, a CLA uh, uh, user, he's doing the same thing. He's not even he's they have access to the free stuff the second they opt in type of thing, but they're getting on a call anyways to get started. And so he's taking them through that initial on point, whether they're doing free or they're going to move into paid. And that's where he's creating the conversation. So much like you're doing here, right? Like Zach is going to be the person that's going yeah, to have the phone. conversation. It's going to be a phone conversation, a real person. You're not just expecting everybody that's going to the funnel to purchase something, mm -hmm. which again, time and place, like those things, those processes that's are great. Big, that's a big shift for us because in the past, it's always been buy on the funnel. Yeah. Now it's real. We really have the time to get on the mm -hmm. phone and have these conversations. Same thing. Like when somebody was coming into the gym, we have time to meet with them. Uh, thus just we're just doing it virtually so well let's think I mean thing. you know there's so much stigma around or I don't want to say stigma but you know automation can often get a bad name because people assume that it's eliminating yourself from the, the equation entirely mm -hmm. well our belief is the fact that all automation should point to a face-to-face -face yeah. in, in the situation of a phone call but human interaction and so we're not eliminating you know Zach in the in the process or the sale conversation because Right now, especially that conversation is what's carrying so much weight. Right, it's it's like David's attested to the fact that his confidence level in the conversation about, hey, I'm a coach. I know exactly what it's going to take to get you the results. The same that it would be if you were coming into my gym. Let's continue down that process because you want this. This is what you're telling me you need. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go do that. Yep. Right. Nothing's changed for me. My job is the same. So as long as you're comfortable moving forward and, and you want the results you tell me you want then this is the solution, regardless of how I'm bringing you that information. Yeah, and that's the communication he's having, and that's why they're they're up, upgrading. So in, the in huge numbers, and that's and he, the beauty of it. He's doing 4,000 a week plus. Exactly, so, yeah. So, so that's that's something to take note of, guys. Doing 4,000 a week plus, 
a really low ad spend, probably not even. He a, he made four grand with a hundred dollar ad spend. Yeah, so he's doing the right things, but he's leveraging the CLA to do ninety percent of the work. He's mm-hmm. just getting on the call and making. Yeah, it I mean his calendar is you know he, he's got nothing but booked consultations. I mean we were BSing the other day after the interview, and he's like, oh, just you know to keep you in the loop, I got four new consultations in the last two hours while we were you know communicating. Mm-hmm. I'm like. It's beautiful. Dude, let's go throw more money at that. Well, Evan Evan Howard is another uh, gym owner is leveraging CLA for mm-hmm. his online stuff. And he showed, I mean, I have a screenshot of his, his calendar. There might have been 60 freaking appointments on there over the, over the last 10 days. Like, it's nuts. And he's he's um, gone as far as doing group calls. He's doing group calls. They get a Zoom link. It's 15 minutes. And he's got four or five people per 15 minute. And he's just closing like half of them. Is he, yeah, is he doing a... Upsell. Uh, oh, upsell on yeah. option. Nice. Yeah. Pr- freemium. That's, yeah. So you're giving good graces by giving the free for anybody that needs it, that can't afford it. But those that want more, you're going to give them the option. So. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a good, like where we are in this process, you know, a couple weeks in, not only are we as gym owners or you guys as gym owners, us in the industry figured out how to deliver that message and what we need to our audience. But the audience is also kind of figured out like, okay, I'm not going to the gym every day. What are my options? Uh, so the the opportunity is now not just hey let me get something, it's let me get something that I desire. Let me yeah. let me get back to the results I'm looking for. And Perfect. so so the the marketplace in my opinion is now ready to continue to spend some money, if you know obviously incomes and things like that are still there for them. Yeah. But yeah. but um, the the sale is at this point we're starting to see those sales pick up. People are still comfortable paying for training, so it doesn't have to be just a free offer like. You know, a lot of gyms have turned to for the marketplace. Yep. Consider the freemium opportunity and the upsells. Definitely. And we've got an ebook for you. It's uh, the 10 ways that gym owners are using automation to win. Do you have that URL off the top of your head? If mm. not, it's winninggym.com slash something. We could put it in the show notes. I'll put it in the show notes. Like I think about that one. Yeah. So if, if you want to check out the, we have an ebook that goes through 10 different ways that you, that automa- the gym owners are using automation to, to win and dominate. Uh, we put this together about a week ago. Um, so we're running some ads. So if you see our ad, you can click on that. But if not, then just jump in the, the show notes and grab it there. Mm-hmm. Um, be happy to give that to you so you can check that out. But, uh, yeah, I want to go into, hey, the CLA, the workshop that we're hosting, um, it's not just for in person. Obviously, you're going to use it when you reopen. But let's 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 get some wins now because we don't know how long this is going. Yeah. Like this may go through May and June. I, you know, why are you going to sit there and wait for to, to reopen before you start working on the systems of your business? This mm. is the time. This is the time right now. You guys, gyms are going to close all around you, all around you. There's going to be, uh, you know, the longer it goes, the more gyms are going to close. If you are the gym owner and if you're listening to this show, it's because you're you're fighting to stay alive. If you can have your systems dialed in, you're going to dominate. You're going to dominate your marketplace once we open. Gyms are closed. Those clients are displaced. You're going to run ads and they're going to funnel into your CLA and the CLA is going to do the majority of the work to get them to show up. And then now you've got them and you can take care of them and and change their lives. Yeah, but but you nailed it. Like right now, I I said it to somebody earlier and it's the truth. It's been going around online. If you're not doing things like working on the systems of your business or working on the things that aren't client facing right now, if you're not refining your business, if you're not increasing the effectiveness of, of what you do daily, you don't lack time, you lack discipline. And just take that as the kind of kick in your ass that you might need. But uh, I, we, we can vouch, gym owners right now are succeeding in, in being able to continue to move the needle in the face of adversity. I mean, we understand this, the, the pressure and what you guys are all going through. Tim is feeling the pain of, you know, we, we're in Pulse Fitness. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean just throw the towel in and just wait. No there is a million things you can be working on in your business right now and there's no better time because you'll never get this time back. This has never happened in the history of, uh, I mean, never. our country, we, right? We've never been, I don't think the government's ever told an entire, it's way more than a industry, it's industries to shut their doors that you can't operate. It's crazy. Well, you got to do something with your time and it's our opinion to move the needle, so. And I want to give a little props to the Iron Circle because um, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. when this first, probably three weeks, three weeks, by the time this podcast would be four weeks ago, we, we you know, use the word pivot, right? We got together collectively yeah. collectively and changed the game internally quickly so fast that we were already up and running with online training before any competitor was before their competitors were and we're we're kind of not joking but we're like thinking about it, like there's a lot of gyms out here they're they're not even sure what platform to use and we're already running clients through the training 
you got to move quick. Yeah. And so, you know, and I understand that it caught a lot of people off, people off guard. It caught everybody off guard. Sure. Yeah. It's how you react. Yep. It's how you react to that. Like, look, this is the situation. What are we going to do? The writing was on the wall early and we should have probably known it sooner if we were thinking we weren't invincible as a country, but that's how we, our minds work. We're yep. invincible. It's not going to touch us. You know, it, 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 we should have done it earlier, but when we, when it did go down, we were on it. We were switched in literally 48, 72 hours. We were online. Co clients were already training online. And it was great. And right back to the way that we coach our clients. I mean, whether it be private client coaching, whether it be our iron circle or whatever it may be, there's a difference between those that get stuck in the problem and those that seek a solution quickly. Yeah. And the one thing that moves, moves the needle and will continue to save your business is always going to be action. And so don't sit here and, I mean, if you're still sitting around waiting for Uncle Sam's stimulus to figure out what the yeah. heck to do next, like you're, guys, you get it, make, make moves because. Uh, I saw, I saw an ad, some guru. God. I love that word. Some guru was talking about how he's going to help gyms uh, transition. Oh yeah. Them. Yeah. And he was bragging about the gym that they did it in. They made like 1100 bucks in the week. And I was like. Is that something to brag? It's not really something to brag about. I mean, good for them, but they're playing way too damn small, y'all. This is a bigger, it's way bigger. Yeah. And you can make this. We, we've had po two podcasts ago. We talked about me making this a, pr uh, like a, pr uh, a, like a continuing solution, a, a product that you're going to have the online training. Yep. You know, there's going to be gurus out there talking about how they made $1,100 in one gym. We're doing it at multiple gyms. Our clients, our iron circles crushing it. Uh, Jerry and Casey, 900 kids are in their online program. 900 kids. And and to touch on that, guys, if you, this is the one opportunity. You're a brick-and-mortar business primarily. You just took, like, expanded your walls nationally, nationally globally. Mm -hmm. You have an entire service right now that you can sell to anybody in the world. Think of the potential that you – or you're sitting in a gold mine. Learn that process. Fine-tune that process. Yep. Continue to perfect, you know, the – the process and, and eventually you're going to look back and you're going to have bolts two multiple these are it's almost like running an entirely new business yep. simultaneously yep. it is it, there, we've talked about it on that podcast right they're they're probably not the same clientele that want and desire both options or yep. move between those two but uh that doesn't mean that there isn't an entire marketplace for the virtual training Definitely. afterwards Definitely. and yeah, those systems are going to they're going to parlay into that once things open back up. That's huge. Big time. Yeah. So jump on it. Here's your kick in the ass. CLA can do the work for you. Jump in our workshop, guys. Uh, limited seating. We're probably down to the last maybe four seats in there. Uh, PF marketing solutions dot com slash automation. Guys, until next time, keep crushing, keep changing lives. Stay safe. Mm -hmm. But this is all going to turn around. And you guys, you better be ready. If you're listening to the show, you have no excuse. Let's go. Let's go. See you. Bye.